All right, I'm going to just tell you what happened that I really wanted to speak on. So as far as Carolyn Rodriguez, she met SPM in the world is what she claimed. And when he got caught up with all his charges, if you don't know, SPM got caught with some, I'll just call them dirt bag charges. I think that's what they call them. So when you're involved with a minor, that's what he got caught up with. And he's getting out next next year, right? Allegedly, I think. So she said she gave him the benefit of the doubt and all of that, which, you know, if you meet somebody in person, whatever, a lot of people wouldn't do that especially with her not actually being from Texas. I think she was from the North Car from the Carolinas, North Carolina. She moved there. And I'm thinking like, bro, she's trying to be a singer. She, she is a Chicana from North Carolina coming from Charlotte. Charlotte is not like a little, from what I have, I've never been there from what I heard. Charlotte, Charlotte is not like a little sleepy little town, like it's some little little town in Oklahoma or whatever. Charlotte is actually, it has a healthy uh, CPA combined population area. P people go to, sh people rock with Charlotte, man. They got their own uh, basketball team. I think they got, I don't think they got a football team. Was that the Panthers? I think. You know what I mean? So it's a healthy place. It's not like she came from the from from the dirt, like I'm saying. But at the end of the day, she wanted to do something in the industry. She wanted to do something with uh the craft of artistic. She wanted to be an artist. You know what I mean? She wanted to be an artist. So the closest thing that she could get to at this point was SPM. And this is where we have to keep it real. This is where we have to keep it real. Now, Carolyn said that she met him in person, maybe once. She thought he was a charismatic, charming young man. And she gave him the benefit of the doubt. She even went so far as to marry this man while he was in prison. She held it down and things like that. Do I think she was in love? I think she was in love with the lifestyle. I think she was in love. And like I said, I don't know. I'm just a spectator. You know what I mean? I think she was just in love with the fact that she got so close to this opportunity and she didn't want to lose it. Even if it meant attaching herself to somebody with charges against a minor. I think that that didn't matter as long as she was able to live her dreams and fulfill what she wanted to fulfill. She had a goal. I don't think it really would have mattered because mentally, when you go from one place to another and your dreams are on the line and your life is essentially on the line, she was preparing herself to go to, to go to Hollywood, bro. Now, Hollywood, of course, not the physical Hollywood, the mental Hollywood, the financial Hollywood. She was willing to put up with some freaky, crazy, nasty stuff. And in her mind, I ran into some freaky, crazy, nasty stuff dealing with this dude. And I was planning on going to the top. I wanted to be the best. I wanted to be in Hollywood. I was going to go to California. I went to those weird Illuminati parties. But the only thing is, I got all of that in the man. He brought that to me. So if this is what I was already mentally preparing myself for, hey, screw it. I'm already here. SPM did this nasty, lascivious act. Well, I was already preparing myself to deal with nastiness and lasciviousness. And am I saying that she's wrong for that? A lot of, look, a lot of your favorite artists, actors, rappers have that same mentality and have actually done some nasty things. Nasty, soulless, emotionless, booty hole things. Have your, a lot of your favorite rappers and actresses and actors and whatever have gone through to get in that position that they're in. So no, I don't fault her for doing that because a lot of these, a lot of people do it. And you're entertained by these people and I'm entertained by these people. And a lot of these people have made great contributions to society. She did what she thought she had to do like every, well, not everybody, but a lot of people. So 
she was trying to make make it seem like she was all in love and all of that, bro. She was getting the, she was getting her bag, bro. How many females in the world have laid down with some dude that they knew was on some foul stuff? Like, bro, be serious. And then she was doing with him, doing whatever she did with him. They got married. He went to prison. They were in there getting it popping and all of that. And then right when he was about to get out, no coincidence, right when he was about to get out, she ended up breaking it off. Now, it does make sense what she said as far as him. He didn't care about me. He didn't care that I was going through the fire through all these years and I had to fight off all these trolls. Bro, you get mad at this dude for not caring that you're getting cyberbullied? This, th this dude has to take showers with other men. He has grown men looking at his booty and making him lift his balls and making him cough. You think he cares about some trolls? This dude has to walk around with a shank every day with shower shoes, reading, doing push-ups, waking up at 5.30 in the morning, eating a slop for breakfast. Getting the lights turned off at 10 o'clock. Having a new celly every other year or whatever. I've never been to prison. I don't know his living conditions. Just me ba like doing basic county time. I'm assuming it's very similar from what I've learned about prison through other people. I'm assuming that his conditions are very similar. Now, like I said, do I think Carolyn is a foul person? I don't think any, no, I don't think she's a foul person. I just don't think she kept it real when it came to that. And if she would have kept it real, niggas would have respected her, bro. Like, you wanted to follow your dreams. Do I think, like, Drea Kelly, I think Drea Kelly is an absolute weirdo. I think she's crazy, and she's ugly in her face, and she looks like a man, and she looks like Barney in her face on the stuff on top of her neck, which is supposed to be a face. That's nasty what's on top of her face. But... A lot of people don't want to say that. Like, look, I was just trying to do whatever. I wanted to. I don't know if she had a. I don't know if she had children back there. I was just trying to. I was just trying to make it, bro. Like, I didn't really love bro like that, or I did like him. I thought he was cool. To be honest, I thought he did that. I didn't really know, cause I didn't know bro like that. I only I only met him one time. But shoot, this is in the early 2000s if we didn't have social media like that, it was hard to network. Every time I tried to network with somebody. Hey, I always thought they were going to try to bend me over so the person that I could actually attach myself to that lost a lot of support, I took the opportunity and I did it. And, hey, and I'm here right now, so it obviously worked. I got a, I got a little bit of little cheddar out the situation. We were married, so the money that he was making, psh, you know he split it with me after the divorce. What you mean? What you mean? <laughs> like... I definitely would have respected that just coming for, from where I come from and understanding where a lot of people are. Like, I asked my mom why women sell their bodies when they when I was a lot younger. I was like nine and ten. And she was like, hey, sometimes these ladies, they just got to do what they got to do what you got to do sometimes. You know? And I was just not necessarily judging it, but the fact that, of course, I'm looking to my parents to set the standard for what's right and what's wrong in life. So if this is coming from my mom, who is working two and three jobs, this is coming from my mom, who was pregnant when I was in, when she was in college with me, living with my grandmother for my whole life, telling me that, hey, women selling their bodies, that's just something they've they feel like they need to do or they're going to expire. They're not going to be alive anymore if they don't sell their bodies. I understood that women selling their, their bodies was neither a good thing or a bad thing from a very young age. And then as my mind, my mind evolved even deeper, I understood that when a woman is in a marriage, that's essentially her selling her body on paper. So for a woman to sell her body to a dude that she thinks did some lascivious acts for money and for her dream and for her future children and her future legacy, how could I judge you from there? You know what I mean? There's people in my family that sold their bodies. There's people in my family that helped women sell their bodies and got paid for it. Lovely. 
You know what I mean? So, no, I don't think Carolyn Rodriguez is a bad person. Or she should be convicted of anything. Or she should be chastised. Or anything or or anything like that. I just think that she should have kept it real. Because the people who loved her would have loved her even more. And the people who hated her, a lot of them would have had more of a reason to hate on her. But they would have had to respect her. Because we all do what we got to do. Whether it be that or whether it be this, you know. But it is what it is, man. And then lastly, man, we got 